Hello everyone and welcome back. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Emma. I'm seven years old and I am recovered from anorexia. Wow. Just saying them words out loud is so surreal. I never thought I'd get to this point in my recovery where I'd be able to say those words. Um, it's crazy. It really, really is. So today's video is going to be an update on All In and an update on the future of this channel and of my Instagram. And am I recovered? And obviously the question to that, the answer to that is yes. I can officially say I am recovered from my eating disorder. Fully recovered. Which is insane. Um, and I put it off saying this for some time because, you know, I really gave it some time to really think about, am I recovered? Am I 100% recovered? And then I realized that I needed to stop trying to, you know, put off this kind of thing of like, am I recovered or am I not recovered? And I just needed to say that I am recovered because I know deep down that I am. For starters, I don't get ED thoughts anymore when I eat. I don't feel guilty at all when I eat. The neural pathways have been completely rewired inside of my brain. And I think that's mainly down to the fact that, you know, I kept doing it. And now this is my comfort zone. Back in the past when I was underweight, that was my comfort zone. And that wasn't a safe place whatsoever. And then when I reached my set point weight, I don't know why, but when you reach your set point weight, not only do you know because obviously your weight maintains, regardless of how much you eat and stuff like that, you also just get this feeling inside and it feels like a familiar feeling that you feel safe and you feel like you're meant to be in this point and your hormones start to regulate more, you become a lot more happier, you have your energy back, your hunger cues are normal, um, you just become and just feel normal and I never thought I'd be able to be happy in the body that I'm in at the moment and when I look back to when I was underweight and things like that, you know, my brain would trick me being like, your set point weight will be too high you will you'll hate your body and shit like that but really it's just not like i'm comfortable in this body now um obviously you know i even spoke to this like with my mom she has bad body images and she doesn't have an eating disorder so you know not every day am i gonna say and wake up and be like i love my body so so much i love how the way it looks and stuff like that because that's just simply not the case i love my body for what it does not what it looks like and not what it you know presents like i just love what it does for me and i am currently going to be stepping away from the recovery community side of things and i know that may be upsetting to a few of you and things um I want to say though I'm keeping my Instagram account so I'm keeping that and I'm going to continue to post on there but my content is not going to be recovery related it's going to be living my life and you know me because yes I still like food that's still going to be part of my life because I still like that I am a foodie but I'm not going to discuss you know ED thoughts I'm not going to post on you know um I'll keep my positive vibes and I'll keep doing positive quotes. I'm not going to talk about weight gain or weigh-ins or restricted intake or extreme hunger anymore. I'm not going to talk about anything like that. I'm just going to be and post, you know, normal living kind of things. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be any food content because I am still a baker. I still like to bake and I still like to eat food okay that's like never going anywhere and i think that's just gonna be an emmer thing for the rest of my life but me myself likes other things like i realized just how much um eating disorders can make you selfish due to this whole you know coronavirus shit because of the fact that you know people are i i clicked on my instagram and I, I never really go through posts and things, but this time I did. And what I noticed was these people freaking out because 
the gyms were closed. It was the worst nightmare, someone said. And I literally turned around and I was like, if that's your worst nightmare, then what, what are your priorities? Like seriously, people are dying in the world and you're concerned because you can't do your ab workout at the gym. Like, no, that is not okay. And I know it's not them, it's the ED talking, but it's like, you really need to get your priorities straight. Like, you shouldn't be using this time to spend with your family. Like, you know, these people are, like, losing their family members and getting sick and things like that. I can't see their family members. And you're more concerned about, you know, getting the right product in for your food because you don't know the calories of the other product. So you have to have that other product because you know the calories in the other product. And if you get the other, other product, then you won't know the calories and it'll be too scary for you. Like literally you have to be in a position where you're like tough, eat that product anyway. Okay. Like literally you do not have a choice. You didn't have a choice before, even when you were in like recovery properly, you need to just fully commit. Okay. And like, when I just saw these posts, it infuriated me so much. Um, I was so angry at their eating disorders and angry that they were letting them that become their priority other than them, their health and their family's health and their friend's health. They were more concerned about food in the gym and it just show, goes to show you how much you are confined in this little bubble. So I knew this day would come where I'd have to step away from the community and I just, I thought it would have been a bit longer in like the past, in like the future kind of thing, but I knew it was going to be this year. I knew it was going to be this year because I knew that I was going to be recovered by the end of this year at least. And obviously this, it's happened sooner than expected, which is great. Um, it's kind of just sad though, because I feel like I do need to move away from the community because although there are some wonderful people in the community, like all you lovely bunch watching this video. There are also really, really toxic accounts out there. And sometimes people don't even notice they're being toxic um, because they're so caught in their own eating disorder and their own thingy that they don't realize how much of an impact it can have on other people. You know, like you just see people posted on things like they've just ate like a tiny, like an extra bit of chocolate and that might be a huge win to them. But in reality, they're kind of fooling themselves because it really isn't like they should be eating full bars of chocolates and stuff but like um it might sound harsh and blunt but i don't want to be a part of that anymore um i thank the entire community for helping me grow supporting me helping me recover and i'm not going anywhere i'm still going to be here here around and things like that i'm still going to be posting on happy positivity stuff like quotes and just living my life and things but now i have more priorities like my work my family my friends jamie planning my future with jamie go planning holidays going places traveling and you know i want to just live my life now like i'm done with that chapter of my life it's time to start a new chapter and it's time to move on and i knew for a fact i couldn't keep up this recovery account forever i knew that i couldn't be able to stay a recovery account um and if i did it would be completely disordered the fact that i'm moving away from it shows my progress and shows how much i need to move away like when i first joined the community i was like you know i get these people these people get me i'm like i feel as if they're all like connected with me and things like that and i was like they get what i'm thinking and now i feel like a, a tiger among some birds almost um because of the fact that i just feel so out of place um now in that community because you know like i like food don't get me wrong but i'm definitely not obsessed with food and it's definitely not my main priority you know like i like other things too and i don't care about my body that much anymore like i don't care about certain things that you know people in the community really really are passionate about and really um you know sometimes even disordered about and stuff and i don't want to make myself and force myself to stay in a community 
just because I want to feel like I fit in and just because I want to feel like I'm a part of this community because I have people that are like me. And now that I realize that I'm recovered, you know, there are so many people like me. <laughs> like every person who doesn't have an ED is now like me. And I wanna live that. I wanna take that opportunity and run with it and you know live my life and post on me traveling and you know doing other things other than food uh, i don't feel like it's inspirational to have an account that's stuck in recovery forever i feel like it's more inspirational to follow a count that's life after anorexia and what life can be once you recover and i hope you all agree with that i'm really scared actually to make this video because i feel like so many people are going to unfollow me and you know was only there for the recovery side of things and i get that if you need to unfollow me then do that i guess but just know that i'm still me i'm me and this is the real me and I'm not going to change myself for the benefit of other people. Um, I've I tried my hardest to help as many people as possible and I've received lovely messages about how I have helped people and things like that. I've spent four years of my life, you know, responding to DMs, making these videos, um, constantly putting other people's needs before my own and i feel like it's time for me to you know do that to myself be a bit selflessness for once and try and just live my life without this so i hope you all understand that this is a new chapter to my life and i hope you all stick around and um I just want to say to you some things that I don't have anymore. I don't have bloating after eating. I don't have extreme hunger. Um, I don't have guilty thoughts. I, I literally, I'm just myself pre-ED again. And it feels so amazing. I'm getting emotional already. Yeah. <laughs> it feels so amazing to be at that point again. And I hope you all will continue to fight and get to that point and I hope you all stick around and I hope you all beat this because it's 100% possible and I know that during my eating disorder I needed someone there to tell me that I could do this and that 100% recovery was possible because I had people telling me that it wasn't and that you know the ED thoughts will be there forever and it's just simply not the case the ED thoughts will go if you want them to go. It only takes rewiring and repeat after repeat of challenging, but I promise you, they will go. So please just keep fighting and I hope you all stick around and I can't wait to share my new chapter of my life with me and thank you guys so much for following me. Um, I won't be responding to any more DMs related to eating disorder advice anymore because my videos are always out here. I've did so many posts and I don't want to repeat myself anymore. Um, it's just tiring for me and it's just, it can kill my vibe sometime, you know? Getting like thingies being like, oh, I've just ate over like 100 calories. Am I gonna get fat? And it's like, <sighs> you know, like sometimes I just need a breather from it all. Um, but if you have DMs about anything else other than ED, or even if you just wanna have a chat with me, then I'm still there. I'm still here and I'm always gonna be here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and goodbye.